In this week's Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, we're going to spend some time with uh, BASS Elite Series Pro Mike McClellan. You know, Mike is a great lure designer for Spro. He has gave a lot of insight, not only them, but other companies out there on how to build different baits. And specifically, he's well known for jerk baits. But he's recently designed a new crankbait called the Spro Rock Crawler. And that bait is designed to be able to use in a mix of applications, primarily around rocks, but that's not the only place you can catch fish with it. So we're going to join Mike as he goes fishing in Oklahoma, and I'm also going to fish it down in Texas. And we're going to look at different ways of how we fished it, different types of cover, and talk about its action. We're going to show you different times to be able to pick this bait. We'll also help you clue in on when to pick other crankbaits so that you can pick the right bait when it comes time for you to tie on that hard bait and go fishing. I know everybody probably really thinks of me more so for the stick bait, but growing up on Table Rock and fishing the Midwestern lakes uh, that I've fished all my life, I've thrown a crankbait a ton. And there's been a number of different crankbaits I've thrown all across the country, but fishing these Midwestern rocky lakes, there's been one bait that I've always wanted to design and basically Spro has given me the opportunity to do it in the new rock crawler. The thing that's unbelievable about it is basically in about three and a half or four months, the Spro rock crawler's gone from this to this to seven unbelievable factory painted custom jobs that I don't know you, if you could go anywhere in the country and not have success on these baits. So I wanted a bait that did something different. Depth wise, I never felt like we had a bait this size with this type of action that would dive 10 to 12, maybe even 13 feet deep if you match it up with 8 or 10 pound test line. A bait that will get down there, has a wide wobble, does a lot of hunting, very subtle sound wise, but catches fish in the early spring time of the year probably better than any other type crankbait. But the thing about it is the versatility this bait has has turned into even more than I ever dreamed. I finally got to throw the bait back in November. We absolutely wrecked them on Table Rock and a couple of other lakes, Norris Lake in Tennessee. And now here we are on Broken Bow Lake and I couldn't be more happy with the way this Spro Rock Crawler's turned out. Basically what we're doing is trying to run around and see where all I can catch them on this rock crawler. I've had real good success up in the Ozarks, Beaver Lake, Table Rock, some of the area lakes around there, but I've been hearing here lately no more than two, three weeks after this bait's hit the shelf that they're catching them here on Broken Bow. So we're gonna run around the lake a little bit today, see what we can make happen. Basically, we're in late, late winter into that pre-spawn period. I mean, the water temperatures are starting to come up into the lower 50s. The fish should be starting to move up on some of these channel banks. And we're gonna put this rock crawler to work today and see what we can make happen. With absolutely zero wind and a bluebird sky, the fish just aren't biting. Mike only had a few hours to check out Broken Bow Lake, and he's hoping tomorrow will be a much more exciting day. Up next, Mike heads back out on Broken Bow Lake. There's one right there. That's a good one right there. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I absolutely love it. The Arctic Ice Tundra Series, capable of keeping your food frozen all day long. The Tundra Series is a portable, safe, and reusable alternative ideally suited to replace dry ice. Keep your food as frozen as the Tundra with the Tundra Series from Arctic Ice. There is no other sunglass product on the market like Amphibia. Optimized for life on water and land, Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. See this? <sighs> no! Oh! I see them! On top of all this, Amphibia products are built to last, ensuring that they'll stand up to whatever you can dish out time and time again. No other sunglass product on the market offers the features and quality that we do. Amphibia Sports Sunglasses incorporates several new advances including maximum horizontal displacement lenses and a patented air cells that ensures every frame floats. 
In addition, amphibia lenses are scratch resistant, 100% polarized, anti-reflective on both the inside and outside, water phobic and ANSI rated for protection. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. The Bubble Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife. For fishing... One cut and you're through, guys. Kind of like butter. Just like butter. Hunting... You can see it just took that right off. Camping... Or just carving up meat at the barbecue. If you've got a sportsman in the family, they're going to want to have a Bubba Blade knife. The super sharp edge and the large patented handle that gets sticky when wet makes the Bubba Blade a perfect sportsman's knife. The handle protects your hands from the blade, and the trigger grip and thumb pads let you have total control of the knife. The Bubba Blade comes in different styles and sizes to fit the need of every sportsman. So whether it's for the boat, hunting, camping, or just for slicing meat at a barbecue, the Bubba Blade is the ultimate knife for the sportsman. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. After your next successful fishing trip, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for catch with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the fishing trip at BradleySmoker.com. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Garmin, the power of simple. And by Sunline America, the strength to guarantee your confidence. I'm ready to go get him. You know, we're here on Broken Bow Lake, and we had a chance yesterday afternoon late, got here a little bit early and got out and kind of inspected the lake, and uh, the conditions were absolutely horrible. I mean, we had bright bluebird skies, slick as a baby's butt, and usually a crankbait isn't the thing you think about in conditions like that, but uh, I think we played it to our favor. The, the wind's gonna blow today, uh, the water's warming up. I mean, we're looking at water temperatures up in the upper 40s, should creep up into the lower 50s today. And this is what you want when you throw a bait like the new Spro Rock Crawler. I mean, the big key is gonna be figuring out how fast they want to bait and what kind of stuff they wanna be on today. But one thing I can see right now that really intrigues me this time of the year is uh, there's a bunch of boat ramps in this area. And those boat ramps warm up quick when you get that sunshine on them. It's always a good place to catch one early, and I'm going to see if we can make it happen. Oh. That was definitely a bite. There he is right there. That's a good one. He come back and got that thing. Barely hooked. That is what a rock crawler is all about right there. Look at that. Old black spotted up pretty fish. Phantom Brown. I tell you what, the thing that's cool about this rock crawler is the versatility that the bait's got. I mean, that fish actually bit it up on the ramp. I hit something and it bit it when it deflected. And then he followed it on out. That thing was actually out over open water. And that's what makes a bait like this rock crawler so unique is the fact that it hunts. When it comes off of stuff, it kicks out and does a lot of crazy stuff. And, and that's the reason they bite a bait like this early in the spring, man. That is a pretty pre-spawn late winter fish here on Broken Bowl Lake. Oh yeah. There's one. Oh man, he just knocked it. There he got it. Knocked the snot out of it like three times before he finally got it. Very big. One more. Sitting out here on the edge of this whole little channel break, it kind of swings off that side and back over this way, but uh, not much of a fish, but it's another rock crawler fish. Just 
changed colors a little bit too when I got up here in this dirty water. Been throwing those phantom colors and I went to molting cross, just a little more of an opaque color. Looks like food in my opinion, just stands out a little bit better in this dirty water. And you know, for years and years people told called them and talked about them as idiot baits. You know, you just pick it up, chunk it, and wind it. But I mean, really, if you watch what I'm doing, I mean, you don't just chunk it out and wind it in. You've got to vary your speed to retrieve. You've got to stop it, start it. I mean, there's times you even just pull it, especially when you get that real nasty rock down there. You just kind of pull it through. And it's all about figuring out that cadence to uh, make, make one react and bite. You know, one of the biggest things about cranking a bait like this Spro Rock Crawler is figuring out what it takes to trigger the fish. I mean, you know, everything from changing the gear ratio on your reel to just stopping and starting and, and speeding the reel up and slowing down are really keys to, to catching them once you figure out what they really want. But uh, I'll throw, you know, everything from a 5-4 to 1 gear ratio all the way up to a 7-3 depending on the time of the year. But typically in the springtime, this winter, late winter, early spring, I really like that Verano 5 4 to 1 gear ratio. It just allows you to slow down. You really can't ever crank it fast enough or too fast to uh, get yourself in a position where you're fishing too fast. And that's probably the biggest key is the cadence that you use. I mean, I want to get that bait down on the bottom, grinding into rock, and, and I'll just ease it through and, you know, speed my reel up and slow it down to uh, manipulate the bait through that rock as I'm bringing it through there. But speed can really be a key, whether it's Slow speed or fast speed, those are the keys to figuring out how to catch them the best on a bait like this this time of year. That makes me feel a lot better. 48 degree water. Yesterday when we started it was, you know, 47, 48 late in the day. And today with this bright sunshiny day, we're starting to get some clouds. They're finally starting to act like they want to eat that rock crawler a little bit. I know we may not have set the world on fire today. We may not have caught them quite as good as I wanted to but we did accomplish what we set out to do, and that was to add one more lake and one more state to places I've caught them on the Spro Rock Crawler. Bait's only been in development for about six months, and I feel like we did a pretty good job of it here on Broken Bow Lake in Oklahoma. Conditions were absolutely terrible. We started yesterday afternoon just for a couple hours, bright bluebird slick, not a breath of wind, struggled around, really didn't even have a bite. So today, started off fishing the clear water. We actually got on some stuff right off the bat, caught a pretty nice fish off of the boat ramp, but still didn't really have the right conditions. Moved around a little bit, changed areas on the lake, got up into some more colored water. The wind finally started blowing, and we caught the fish we needed to catch and had a really good time here on Broken Bow Lake. Fish on! Come on, get together. <laughs> After all my years of searching, I finally busted the method I had it! The Angle High Performance Cooler, it's incredible! Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse! It's so freaking strong, so reliable, I just wanna boom! This silicone gasket's better than rubber! Why well, hello there, are your base and sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Ah oh, yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh, let's hear Yeti do that! With Angle Coolers, it's official, the Yeti is busted! Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of 5 stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com.
Frog Talks, stop the rain. Call me a fool for searching. Messi doesn't want to be found. But I've got the new Garmin combo with the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. I can see Nessie's home and all the wee fish in crisp detail. I mean, look at it, look. You are real. You do exist. Engineered to excel. The Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Ingle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Powerpole Shallow Water Anchors, swift, silent, secure. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Spro, sports professionals. And by Arctic Ice, bitterly cold. Now it's Wade's turn to test out the new Spro Rock Crawler in Texas on Fayette County Reservoir. Wade's day is a cold and rainy one during the pre-spawn in the late winter. We're going to go out and throw some crankbaits around, specifically targeting rocks. With the water temperature the way it is and the conditions of bass, should be targeting, you know, feeding on some crayfish. So we're going to find some rocks, we're going to bounce some crankbaits off those and see if we can't catch a few fish in what Conditions wise, most people would be home eating chili, but we're going fishing. Twelve months out of the year, I figure you can go down the rocks on a dam anywhere in the United States and you got a chance to catch fish. You know, what we've got going on right here, we're on a power plant lake. Water temperature is only about 50 degrees right here. Now, around that discharge, it's gonna be a lot, a lot warmer. But where we're at, you know, in my opinion, you're probably looking at fish that are, you know, chasing crawfish. So what we're gonna do is try and mimic a crawfish bouncing along these rocks down here. and just, you know, reeling a crankbait down there, trying to get a reaction bite. Right now, I'm throwing the Spro Rock Crawler, which is a new bait designed by Mike McClellan, specifically designed to be able to get down and dig around those rocks and really perform in those types of situations. Now, that doesn't mean that's the only place that you can throw this bait and be successful, but it's definitely what it's designed for. When you look at the, you know, the, the bill and the angle of it and the wobble and the action of it and just the way it's been built, it was designed by Mike, who has a lot of experience fishing those real rocky lakes up in the Ozarks, up in the Arkansas, Missouri area, and uh, specifically designed so you can have some success in that type of an application. There's one right there. Right there. Barely good. just kind of slapped at it. It may have the wrong color here. When you start catching them, I've always felt, you hear a lot of people talk about where you catch them on one hook like that, a lot of times, you know, you may not have the right color. And he kind of just reacted to the bait as it was going by. But regardless, that's a bass. See if we can catch another one. After catching a few fish along the dam, Wade ventures over to an underwater rock ridge to see if he can't fire up a school and we're just cranking right along that roll, right along that drop. And uh, these fish are just kind of sitting there stacked up. Woo, son, you're a little bit mean. Lots of clouds, nasty weather. We're literally the only boat left out here, I think, right now. Come here, buddy. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. They are eating that bait right there. People ask you, why did you choose that color? And for me, it's it's about the confidence. I just, I, 
I like this color under these conditions that I'm fishing with it. There's one right there. Good one. Good one. Good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. You know, when you're fishing rocks or offshore structure, to me, it's it's about the angles. It's about finding the best way to present your bait, and moving around, and you know, until you can get the right position on them, and, and making making casts around it. Don't be afraid if there's a rock pile or a jetty or you know stumps or whatever it is to circle it and make multiple casts from a lot of different angles. Don't just make one or two casts down one ang one angle of it, and if you don't get bit. You know, go find someplace else because if you think the fish are there and you've got a history of them and you're seeing them on your depth finder, you know, find the presentation that's going to trigger those fish to bite. That's really all I felt like I did right there. Now that we've seen what the Spro Rock Crawler can do, you can visit Spro.com for more information and see the many other baits that Spro has to offer. The Fisherman's Handbook crew trust Ranger boats to get them to and from their favorite spots on the water. Let's put your Ranger knowledge to the test. For the answer to this, or to find out more about Ranger boats, visit MyDreamRig.com. If you want to activate the bass, you better have a hydrowave. You've got six different bait fish sounds, you run it at any volume, you can see them actually come up to the speaker of the hydrowave. You can watch them come up off the bottom. When you're fishing deep, the hardest one to catch is always the first one. With the hydrowave, you get them going faster. Hydrowave. I won't fish without it. CA Richardson here for Power Pole, where every shallow water anchor is designed and tested to be extremely quiet. How quiet? Let's take a look. Hey guys! Great work, guys. Don't slam the door! Power Pole, deadly silent to help you catch more fish. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. From bass and walleye to crappie in the great outdoors, you deserve more than old school aluminum. Reward yourself with the quality, performance, and extra room in a Ranger aluminum design. Packed with features, these rigs carry an ultra smooth dry ride and stable platforms. Experience a Ranger aluminum boat today. It's engineered to excel and priced to be yours. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. That's a tote. Sunline Super Fluorocarbon. The strength to guarantee your confidence. Yamaha VMAX SHO, the game changer. The pros knew right out of the first hole shot that the VMAX SHO was the real deal. VMAX SHO exceeds two-stroke performance, delivers four-stroke efficiency, and is packed with legendary Yamaha reliability. It's the faster, stronger, smarter, lighter family of VMAX SHO outboards from Yamaha. Welcome back to the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook with Wade Middleton. We wrap up today's episode of Fisherman's Handbook with a sneak peek into next week's show, which features Garmin's latest innovation. 
Panoptics is Garmin's new sonar technology, and, and it's, it's amazing. I liken it more to uh, a video camera than, than traditional sonar. With traditional sonar, you're seeing basically that split second, and then it, it's always in the past. Um, as it scrolls along, uh, the, the older it gets. With Panoptics, you're seeing it real time. You're seeing structure around. Uh, you're seeing fish. They, they can be swimming towards you, away from you, you know, rising or, or, or diving. Uh, you can see your bait, uh, all of that in real time. So you're actually watching fish swim around uh, below and around your boat. Uh, it's an impressive technology and, and there's really nothing else out there like it. Um, it's something that an angler really has to see to believe. Uh, it's, it's that impressive. What this technology does is this is the transducer right here in the boat. And every time this transducer shoots an impulse down, it refreshes the entire screen all at once. So you don't feed data across the screen that becomes history after it gets about a half inch across the screen. It, it's already behind the boat. This is real time data that you're looking at here. As you can see right here, that's our bait right there. I mean, you're looking at it at the same time that it hits the bottom and that I pull it back up off the bottom. What I like about it is that I can put a bait in the water and I can watch how the fish react to the bait. So I can see the fish come to the bait I can see the fish look at the bait. I can see whether they like the bait or they dislike the bait. If they dislike the bait, they'll just turn and run straight from the bait. And you see all that in real time. So you know whether you've got the right bait on, right color on, and what do you want. I mean, if you're, if you're not running a Garmin, you're gonna be fishing for some place behind the guys that are running Garmin. Something's coming up, getting agitated, coming towards her bait. Oh, got him, got him. Holy cow, did you see that? You actually can see it on the screen. You saw that fish come up off the bottom and just kind of started hesitating and has a smallmouth. You could see that fish on the graph literally come up off the bottom and set up to ambush that bait. And then I felt the bite. Holy cow. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, you can see, literally, you can see the little red dot as it got bigger and bigger as this smallmouth came up off the bottom, and then our bait kind of comes in the picture and just loads it up. That is such an amazing technology, and I'm telling you, if you don't have one, and the guys that have one around you, they're going to they're gonna get an advantage on you, no doubt. It really does change, fundamentally change the way you fish and you view fish around your boat. Um, you can see them moving. You can see them moving towards a bait. Um, you know, you can see them, pick them out on the bottom or if they're suspended or near the top, it doesn't matter. Um, you, can, you, can, you can pan your uh, trolling motor around and, and, and basically scan the entire area for fish, for structure, uh, whatever, and it's all right there in real time. This truly does change the way uh, fishermen will fish. When they can see fish in real time, they can see structure in real time, um, and, and, and just target, throw their bait where they need to throw it, where the fish are and where the structure is. Um, it truly does change the game for fishing. So stay tuned next week for more on the Garmin Pan Optics, and don't be afraid to tie one of those pro rock colors. I think it'll pay off for you. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. For any of the products seen used on today's show, visit cabelas.com. Basically what we're trying to do today is uh, travel around and see where all this rock crawler will actually catch them. Um, that's always nice when you hang up when you're in the middle of something. <laughs>